Next on Worcester News tonight, a scary scene in a city neighborhood after a young boy falls from a third story window. Police are investigating. Plus, one step closer to demolition. A judge denies the Save Notre Dame Alliance's efforts to delay destruction. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Olivia Lemon. We begin tonight with detectives on scene of a Worcester apartment. Police say a three year old child fell from the third story window. A neighbor heard the mother outside screaming, holding the child and called 911. According to police, the young boy was conscious and crying when officers arrived on scene. He suffered facial injuries and was bleeding from the mouth. Investigators will obtain a search warrant to investigate further. DCF was also notified of the incident. The future of a former Worcester church appears destined for the wrecking ball. A judge denied an injunction to delay demolition. City Square 2, part of the Hanover Insurance Company, owns the building and says in court documents they plan on demolishing the church as early as this week. Our Gretchen LaRosa has the latest. The Save Notre Dame Alliance taking a heavy hit Monday after a judge denies their injunction to delay demolition of the former church. It's like somebody kicked you in the stomach, right? You know, we've all kind of had those experiences. And then it's okay, so now what do we do, right? So we've been spending the day talking about now what do we do? Former Worcester City Councilor Barbara Haller says the Alliance is disappointed in Judge James Gavin Reardon's ruling. Haller says the building serves as a symbol of the city's rich immigrant history. And this is a monument to Worcester. This is a monument to people, poor people, struggling people, immigrant people, coming and want to make a difference in their lives, in their children's lives. In his ruling, Judge Reardon says, the facts of this case, however, indicate that the plaintiff's likelihood of success in preventing the demolition of the church building is low. Haller feels the city is missing an opportunity by not saving Notre Dame. Worcester has built its reputation on the ability to partner. We know how to get to the table and get to yes and make things happen. And this absolutely could have happened with the structure. Haller's been involved with efforts to save the church for months and says seeing the building already being taken apart is heartbreaking. There's tremendous emotional support for saving this building. And so and there's going to be sadness. There's going to be a, a lot of sadness. Now abatement continues on the interior of the church. However, full demolition is not expected... I apologize. However, there is no set day for full demolition. They say they expect it to happen in the immediate future. Olivia. All right, thank you, Gretchen. Switching gears now, people looking to cool down in Holden today had a chance to jump into the town's pool. The pool opened early today due to the high heat. It officially opens on weekdays after school is released for the summer. The town says dozens of people came out today between the hours of three to seven to swim. And summer like temperatures hitting across central Massachusetts today. Doctors say being in the heat can pose dangers to your body quickly. Our Rosalind Flaherty explains. Many are feeling the heat as temperatures climb in Worcester. It's definitely hot out, but I enjoy it. I appreciate it. We had a long winter, so. I'm just happy to enjoy the weather. It's hot, it's humid. Mark Diverti launched his boat into Lake Quinsigamond to take a quick ride, hoping to cool off. I'll probably be out here for about an hour today just to start, and then I have some things to do this afternoon, and then I'll be back out tonight. Others decided to brave the cold water and go for a swim. I didn't think it was going to be that cold. <laughs> it is pretty cold, but it feels nice. It cools you off enough. According to the National Weather Service, Worcester was in the high 80s by noontime. Michael Hunter is the deputy chief of EMS at UMass Memorial. He says when the temperatures increase this quick, people have to watch out for heat exhaustion. When it gets really hot, we can't evaporate off with sweat. We can't um, convect heat, so blood will tend to pool in the legs and people will pass out. Hunter suggests getting out of the heat if you start to feel sick and watch your activity. Pace yourself, take your time and look for shaded areas and stay cool. He also says to stay hydrated. It's good advice many people are taking seriously. Gatorades, vitamin waters, all that stuff, you have to. Water, that's the big thing you got to have with you is water. Rosalind Flaherty, Worcester News Tonight.
Rhode Island lawmakers re may revisit a deal for a new Pawtucket Red Sox stadium this week, but the city of Worcester says they are confident with their proposal. The House Finance Committee will reportedly consider the deal on Tuesday with lawmakers hoping to end the session on Friday. Worcester is making a pitch to the minor league baseball team with a proposal to build the stadium in the Canal District. City Manager Edward Augustus says they are still very interested in the opportunity and think the city would benefit the team. We think uh, Worcester is the perfect place for them uh, to spend the next 30 years. Uh, we think their energy and excitement and the family friendly entertainment that they provide is a good match for the city of Worcester. So we're continuing to make our case and we think we've got a great uh, community to offer them and we're uh, doing everything we can to make that happen. And Augustus says he expects a decision soon because building a stadium takes time. A memorial is forming on Franklin Street after a young Worcester man died while driving his motorcycle. According to Worcester police, the crash happened early Sunday morning. They say a 23 year old man lost control of his motorcycle and struck a curb, then a small tree and light pole. Police believe the man was killed instantly. A memorial has now formed with candles and flowers. A Webster man is facing multiple charges after assaulting police officers while being interviewed at the department. 48 year old Joseph Vancelet Sr. was at Webster Police Headquarters asking about his son who had been arrested. Police say at the same time they were conducting a search warrant at Vancelet's apartment in connection to a reported home invasion. When they tried to arrest Vancelet, police say he fought with officers who were forced to tase him. Police found 443 grams of crack cocaine and $41,000 dollars in his vehicle. A first of its kind for Massachusetts, Becker College is la launching a varsity eSports team. Students will be able to try out for the new competitive video gaming team this fall. More than 80 colleges across the nation have varsity teams for online games. The school says League of Legends will be Becker's inaugural title in its new program. At Becker, we have a lot of students who are passionate about making video games and many of them are also passionate about playing. In addition, we have lots of students and other majors here that are interested in games as well, and this gives them an opportunity to compete just like somebody on the basketball team or the hockey team uh, at the same level against other teams at other colleges and other places. And up to $5,000 in scholarships will be offered to students. Nurses in the state are asking for limits to the number of patients they see at once. The Massachusetts Nurses Association says healthcare sees a significant downfall when nurses have too many people to take care of. Monday, the state Supreme Judicial Court validated the issue as a viable question on this year's ballot. Our Cam Jandro has more. Nurses across the state are asking for help when it comes to the number of patients they see. It can be difficult to provide safe and, um, and excellent care that we like to provide. We became nurses because we like to take care of people, but we like to take good care of people. You need to be able to have the time to sit with your patients. Sometimes it's just to hold their hand because you're scared. Monday, the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court validates a ballot measure to limit the number of patients per nurse. Kate Norton is a spokeswoman for the Committee to Ensure Safe Patient Care. She says the goal is to improve the quality of local health care. When there are not enough nurses to care for the amount of patients there, there are universally negative things that happen. We're talking poor patient outcomes, medical errors, preventable readmissions and infections. The Massachusetts Nurses Association reports around 77% of state nurses care for too many patients at once. Eileen Ricor is a critical care nurse in Worcester. She says having to care for a large amount of patients on a shift happens more times than not. I would say at least two to three times a week. They're contacted, can you come in? Can you come in? We're short two nurses, we have, you know, this many surgeries, the ER is backed up. Patient limits would vary based on where nurses are stationed and the severity of their cases. The MNA says Massachusetts currently has no laws limiting the number of assigned patients, and they're hoping to regulate those numbers and get their question on the November ballot. After 20 years of advocating for patient safety, now's the time to bring it directly to the voters and have the voters weigh in on what they would like to see in their hospitals. Cam Jandro, Worcester News Tonight.